New Zealand bans foreign citizens from buying properties to avoid Australian-style price explosion New Zealand has passed legislation to ban foreigners from buying properties to avoid the booming house prices of capital cities across the Tasman in Australia. Prime Minister Jacinta Ardern is on track to fulfill her 2017 election promise of making housing prices more affordable with the new law passed on Wednesday. This is a significant milestone and demonstrates this government's commitment to making the dream of home ownership a reality for more New Zealanders, Associate Finance Minister David Parker said. He added that the change ensures that the market for our homes is set in New Zealand, not on the international markets. The legislation is a bid to avoid the Australian price explosion where housing prices have been out of reach for the average person in recent years. New Zealanders have traditionally preferred to own their homes rather than rent but a shortage of housing and increased migration have raised property prices. Foreign ownership has received blame for the increased prices in recent years. In the past five years prices had risen by 30 percent, a government report released earlier this year revealed. In the past decade prices had risen more than 60 percent and the average prices in Auckland had almost doubled. Arden centre-left government is convinced that foreign buyers outbidding local buyers has affected home ownership which has slipped to a 60-year low. Critics had previously claimed that it was racist to exclude Chinese buyers, who make up the largest portion of foreign ownership, from the market. Australians are the second most common foreign buyers but are exempt from the legislation, alongside Singapore. Many have questioned the likely success of the new law as Australian buyers are excluded from the ban, Reuters reported. Is the ban wise or useful? We think it's neither, Chinese real estate portal Juwai.com spokesman Dave Platter said. Foreign buying tends to be focused on new development, making clear again that foreign investment leads to the creation of new dwellings. That's vital in a market with a housing shortage like Auckland. Real Estate Institute of New Zealand Chief Executive Bindi Norwell questioned the legislation as foreign buyers only made up a small portion of the market. We don't believe that banning foreign buyers from purchasing property in New Zealand is going to have any impact on house prices, nor will it help young people into their first homes, she told Stuff.co.nz.